Hi guys, welcome back to the Megacy Sports channel. From lone moves that went down in history, like the one of Fernando Morientes, a Real Madrid lone knee who ended up collecting the Champions League Golden Boot as Monaco reached the final in 2003 or 4 season, and George Ware who helped Chelsea win the FA Cup on loan from AC Milan in the 2000s, to Radamel Falcao who was considered to be a Man United and Chelsea flop. Let's take a look at players who are sparkling and killing it on loan this season. 10. Taiwo Awoneye The 23-year-old Liverpool loan knee, who currently plays for Union Berlin, is one of the reasons to why the capital club in Germany are having a high-flying season occupying 7th spot in the Bundesliga, level on point with Borussia Mönchengladbach. Taiwo Awoneye has scored 5 goals and registered 2 assists so far this season after coming to the fore courtesy of Max Chris's injury in early December. He has the most successful take-ons with 11 and averaging 1.4 shots per game, highlighting his all-round game. Awoniyi has endured a nomadic career since joining Liverpool in 2015. He has been farmed out to several clubs on loan as he was unable to gain work permit. He was once quoted that playing for Liverpool would be a, a dream come true for him. 9. Gael Kakuta At the age of 29, you would expect the DR Congo International had finally settled down and at the prime of his career. But this season, he's enduring a fantastic season on his ninth loan spell away, away from his parent club Chelsea donning the colors of Lens whom the Blues initially signed him from in 2007. So far this season, Kakuta has been involved in more than 12 goals this season in League 1, converting 9 goals himself and providing 5 assists. He averages 1.6 shots per game, 1.7 key passes as well as completing 1.5 dribbles per game. So he's quite influential to this Lens side who are on a brink of a Europa League qualification. 8. Christian Romero A solid rock in Pierre Gasparini's Atalanta defense, Christian Romero on loan from Juventus has made some eye-catching performances in both the Serie A and the Champions League. In reality, he was the keystone of that 2-0 exhilarating victory on Merseyside during the Champions League group stages against Liverpool. A telling defender with wonderful performances that could force Atalanta make his signing permanent, but it could be difficult for Juve to let him go considering the old lady's aging defense of Chiellini and Bonucci, so it will be interesting to see where he winds up next season despite being a mainstay in Gasparini's defense. The Argentine has averaged over 3.4 of his aerial duels, winning most of them, as well as averaging 2.3 tackles per game and 3.3 interceptions per game. So he's definitely one to watch for the future. 7. Sandro Tonali Credit to Stefano Pioli for making AC Milan one of the best teams in Serie A this season on a back of terrible performances in the couple of years. The 20-year-old Sandro Tonali who's nicknamed the next Andrea Pirlo has stepped up to partner Frank Kessier and so far it has pulled off really well. AC Milan should make this deal permanent because of the potential Sandro Tonali possesses, not just in the present but, but also for the future of Italian football. He has also displayed some wonderful performances in the Europa League despite being eliminated by Man United in the round of 16, averaging 1.9 tackles per game. 6. Alphonse Areola Despite Fulham currently occupying a relegation scrap on 17th, this situation could have been a whole lot worse if it wasn't for their shot stopper Areola, who's currently on loan from Real Madrid. 
So far, the French international has made over 31 appearances in the Premier League and making 9 clean sheets as well as having a 74.5 save percentage. Without Ariola, Fulham could have conceded more than the 42 goals they've conceded so far in the Premier League. 5. Alvaro Morata The Spaniard international who has endured ups and downs so far in his career, particularly with Chelsea. This season he plays for Juventus on loan from Real Madrid, a move that reportedly costed around 10 million euros. But it's so far proving money well invested for Andrea Pirlo, because Morata has made 24 appearances in the Serie A for the Scudetto title holders, scoring over 7 goals, putting him behind Cristiano Ronaldo, as well as providing 9 assists, justifying to be one of the best loan signings. Juve has made several loan signings, but Alvaro Morata is one of the best. Juve may very well consider to make this deal permanent by the end of the season. 4. Federico Chiesa A versatile and talented young Italian midfielder who plays for Juventus on a two-year loan deal from Fiorentina has made a difference and making him a standout performer from other Juventus midfielders in his contributions in front of goal. The 23-year-old didn't take long to settle and establish himself as a starter in the old ladies' stuck midfield, and he has been a revelation this season playing a number of 24 matches, scoring 7 goals and providing 7 assists, averaging 1.8 shots per game, 1.7 key passes per game, and 1.8 dribbles per game. Chiesa has all the attributes to become the next great Juventus midfielder. He's a very versatile player with a lot of talent for Juventus in the future, and Juventus should consider making his deal permanent as soon as possible. 3. Moise King A former Juventus teenager who had a dreadful start to his career at Everton but this season he looks like a totally different player, on loan at Juventus and away from his parent club Everton. The 20-year-old Italian international has been in stellar scoring form in the French capital, scoring over 12 goals which is more than Mauro Icardi who was brought in to be PSG's main and prolific striker. He averages 2.1 shots per game, so PSG may be considering making his deal permanent considering what he's contributed to PSG, including in the Champions League, scoring one of the goals against Barcelona in the camp now. 2. Angelino Raising ball sport Leipzig have run rampant this term under young technocrat Julian Nagelsmann, and few players who have been cruising under his attacking approach, especially fullback Angelino. Pep Guardiola gave Angelino a go but he largely flattered to deceive at Manchester City, so once again left the Etihad to join Racing Ball Sport Leipzig where he's been in breathtaking form. The 24-year-old has scored 4 goals and provided 4 assists to his name, with a 74.5 pass success percentage and an average of 2.2 key passes per game. So it will be interesting to see whether Manchester City are going to take the full back, back or will Rezin Bosbuk Leipzig see off his signature and make him their permanent player. 1. Hesse Lingard This player has only been to West Ham 5 minutes ago and he has already proven the Manchester United executives wrong in showing everybody that he is a world class player. The 28-year-old England international had a terrible start to 2021, but when the West Ham deal came along, everything changed. He already has 9 appearances in the Premier League all season and scoring 8 goals, which in one word is stunning. He has more goals than strikers like Timo Werner for Chelsea, Roberto Firmino for Liverpool and Edison Cavani for Manchester United, who have played more matches than Hesse Lingard. 
West Ham should sign him permanently as he has already shown his capability on the field with 3 assists to his name and averaging 2.9 shots per 90 with only 8 cups for the Hammers all season, which is totally mental. Honorable mentions include the likes of Tiemon Bakayoko who plays for Napoli on loan from Chelsea, Roger Ibanez who plays for Roma on loan from Atalanta and Lucas Olaza who plays for Celta de Vigo on loan from Boca Juniors. That's the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like, share and subscribe and don't forget to comment on your thoughts on who you think is tearing up on loan this season. Don't also forget to hit that notification bell to get notified for more of our videos. Thank you very much and have a good day.